free agency is ramping up, and goalies have been going left, right, and center. Kyle Dubas, step up your game. Time is ticking. There are only a few goalies left on the market, so are the Leafs going to resign Jack Campbell or not? Well, first things first, the Leafs need more cap space, and they know it. Just a few days ago, they traded backup goaltender Peter Mrazek to the Chicago Blackhawks for the 38th pick of the 2022 NHL Draft. This cleared the Leafs of $3.8 million to increase their cap space to just over $10 mil. So does this mean they could finally see a deal reached with Campbell? Well, you want to know my opinion? I say re-sign him. Campbell has been a solid goaltender for Toronto since he was grabbed two years ago. He was 31-9-6 this season in 49 games played. Yes, he suffered a few injuries, but when Campbell is at his best, he is one of the league's top goalies. Dubas, do not, and I mean do not sign Matt Murray unless you are willing to move around some assets. This is a stretch, but hear me out. We all know Chicago is tanking, so hot take. Pick up Patrick Kane. Trade away some prospects, which is what Chicago was looking for right now. Get rid of Justin Hall, who has only one year left at two mil. Plus, the guy is nothing but a hazard. And while you're at it, throw Nick Robertson into the mix. Chicago is willing to retain 50% of his salary. Therefore, the Leafs could get Kane at around five mil as a rental player. That's a steal. So what does this have to do with finding a goalie? Well, if the Leafs sign Kane, they will have depth up front. Imagine Matthews, Kane, Tavares, Nylander while bumping Marner occasionally to the left wing. Mm. Your best defense is your best offense. Aside from Andre Vasilevsky, all you need is a hot team and a hot goalie to win. Look at Colorado. They won the cup with Pavel Francouz and Darcy Kemper. How? Because the other team was never in their zone. Call me crazy. That's fine. But it's possible for the Leafs and Dubas should seriously consider it.